This first drawer here is my underwear and socks and bras and whatever. Um, I would have my only bra here, but it's currently line drying right now. Um, safe to say, I'm gonna keep all my underwear. I don't want to like show you them full on because that's just a little, a little too touchy feely for me. Um, this is the only sports bra that I have. It's really comfortable. It doesn't do anything for like containing the tit monsters but it's super comfortable and I like sleeping with it when I'm not sleeping at my house because it makes me feel a little bit more protected. I have a spare sock here. I haven't been able to find its partner, so this one is going in the garbage. I have a pair of fuzzy socks. I love these. Um, they were a Christmas present a while ago and I've gotten my use out of them. I have a couple of pairs of black socks here. Um, this first one, which is a bit more thick, I'm gonna keep those. They're still kind of like the um, socks that you wear with flats, so they're not totally anklet socks. I would prefer to have anklet socks, but here we are. These ones are literally just made out of tight material. I don't need them, so these are going in the garbage. I have two pairs of athletic socks. I would really like it if these were all um, just regular black, but it's not in the budget right now, so eventually I will replace all my socks with like the same thing, but not right now. Um, with the exception of my long socks, I wear these ones with my Doc Martens. These ones are just super comfy socks, and I also have some more super comfy socks. These are more compression-y ones, and these are actually really nifty. And, oh, I actually have a second pair of fuzzy socks. I hadn't seen these. This is why you need to clear out your drawers, kids. So I'm keeping, Let's see, which ones should I keep? Should I keep these ones or the polka dotted ones? Because I don't need both. I think I'm going to go with the whimsy and keep the polka dotted ones, so these are going to go somewhere else. And this pair of socks is actually a pair of tights that I cut from H&M uh, a long time ago. And the um, toe holes on this have started to wear out, so I'm going to get rid of these. The next drawer down has all of my pants and all of my shirts and camisoles. I'm actually going to hang these up and figure out if I want them or not. This shirt has definitely been one of my favorite over the past year. I have worn it literally to death. There are so many holes in this thing, partly because it's really crappy quality because it's Forever 21, but also because I've worn it a lot. Also, the armpit tuft is colored because I tried to use natural deodorant, which did not agree with my skin, and so they are kind of a weird shade and doesn't matter how many times I wash it, they always stay the same. So I, with a heavy heart, am going to have to let this go, and I am definitely going to be looking for a replacement similar to this one, but with better quality. You're going to be able to tell really quickly that I have a thing for t-shirts. I actually own three of these, not really by choice, but just because they came in a pack. This is from Lucky Brand. It's super soft, but but as you can already see, like right there where the uh, hanger is, it's very see-through. So not particularly thrilled about that. However, they are brand new. I like the way that they fit. I love how long the arms are. I don't know what it is about women's t-shirt arms, but they are always way too short. Super comfortable. I just wish that it wasn't so see-through. So I'm going to be keeping this one and the other two that it came with. And again, we have another comfortable men's v-neck t-shirt. This one is from Gildan or Gildan, whatever you call it. And um, I really liked it. Fit is very, very comfortable, um, but it does have some staining on it. As you can tell, the armpits and there's also some makeup staining down there. So I think that I'm going to have to let this one go, especially since I now have the three Lucky Brand shirts to replace it. And this is the last white men's v-neck t-shirt. This one is from H&M, it's from their organic line or their sustainable line, but it still has some issues, like the staining in the armpit, which is my fault, I realized that. But as you can tell, the um, stitching on this side has kind of gone diagonally instead of staying straight and I have a lot of issues with shirts that have the side seams because of my breasts and how they move the shirt so since I already have some you know shirts like this I'm gonna have to let this one go as well this one was a little too tight and uncomfortable for my likings too I have a slightly different v-neck men's t-shirt this one is still white but it has little black stripes on it 
Uh, it's the same H&M sustainable line as the last one, and I still have the same problems with the hem going a bit wonky or the side seam going a bit wonky. However, I am going to keep this one even though there is a hole in the armpit thanks to my underwire because I am rapidly running out of shirts to wear. <laughs> So I'm going to keep this one so I don't have a completely like white v-neck. I have to, you know, switch it up and have a little bit of black in there too. Wow, something different! It's a crew neck and it's black and it's actually a woman's t-shirt. This one is from Forever 21. I really like it. It says cute black tee. It's adorable. And I'm going to keep it on because it is super, super comfortable. Unfortunately, there are a few holes in the back where my bra strap, the little metal bits, have kind of worn through the fabric. It's really not the best quality ever, but I'm going to keep it on until it really needs to be replaced. I have yet another striped Forever 21 t-shirt. Also, with the staining of the armpits, this is why we're going through this, gotta get rid of this stuff. And it also has holes in it, and there's also a tiny red lipstick stain right there. So this one is going to go. Um, I like the way that it fit through the trunk, but the arms were uncomfortably tight, and they were also incredibly short. So I never felt confident in this shirt unless I was wearing a jacket. And it was also very, very short um, hem-wise, so I never really liked this one to begin with. So it is happily going in the garbage. This is actually a t-shirt dress, basically my same complaint with all the other ones, armpit stains. Thank you natural deodorant, I am never doing that again. Um, it's also incredibly long and normally I would tie it up down here just to have like in a little knot and it would look cute and everything. But the top hem up here where the um, neckline is, you can kind of see it right there, is starting to come undone. And also the arms are very short and very uncomfortable so I'm going to have to say goodbye to this one as well. I have this black camisole from Forever 21. It's in perfect working order, nothing bad about it. I'm gonna keep it. And here we see our first legitimate color. It is a light flesh-toned camisole. I'm gonna keep this one as well. This black and white plaid button-up shirt has been hanging in my closet. I use it frequently, I am going to keep it. And our first and only non-neutral colored shirt is this red men's flannel from Target. Keeping it, I freaking love it. Moving on to pants, this is a pair of jeans from the Ava and Viv line from Target. All of my jeans are basically from there, let's be honest. Uh, these are a destructed pair, these were really comfortable and I really liked wearing them, however, I have a chub rub spot. And since I don't have the supplies to mend it, I think I'm going to have to part with it. These are super comfortable, but I've already got pants that better suit my needs because I'm kind of done with the whole like extreme destruction thing. These next ones here are my most recent acquisition. Same brand, same place I bought them. I like the um, unfinished or raw hem here and I also like the just one cut out at the knee. The wash is alright. Could have done without the whiskering but when you're fat and you're poor you kind of take what the fashion industry throws at you. These are my last set of jean pants. Again, kind of destructed, but not to the extent where there's like raggedy patchwork holes. I like it as kind of like a more subtle detail towards the end of the leg. These ones are comfy, but they're a bit short. I don't know if I grabbed the short version or maybe they are crop pants, but they ride a little bit high on my ankles, which makes them perfect for wearing my Chelsea boots with. So these ones are staying but they are getting a little bit pilled in the inner thighs, so I am just praying that the dreaded chub rub hole does not break through someday. So these are a pair of black trousers from Ava and Viv. I've worn them probably like 15 times maybe, and I'm really dissatisfied that some of the areas um, where you know the pocket are or the seaming is, it's starting to turn a bit gray. I also don't like the way that these sit on me. The waist is too low for my level of comfort, and they're just not good pants. They stretch out very quickly and they end up looking like a baggy mess. So these ones I'm going to have to get rid of. I'm going to have to replace them with another pair of black pants or just some regular nice trousers because I do need more options than just jeans. But that'll be for another day. These are from Torrid. Ashed wash jean shorts. What the fuck was I thinking? I had completely forgotten that I had these leggings. These are the only pair of leggings that I own. And I deeply love them. They are gray, they've got a little bit of what looks like paint splatters, they have like a nice moto knee. I just really like them. I've had to patch them so many times, but I just have to give up on them because they are too small and they are falling apart. So I'm going to have to say a tearful goodbye to them. Sorry that the lighting's gone all dark, but it is getting dark here. These are all of my um, items that I wear for pajamas, stuff that, you know, isn't in good enough wear to wear every day. 
So let's take a look at these. I absolutely love these sleep shorts. They are so comfortable, they feel like nothing, and I just, I feel so good in them. But the entire crotch is just blown out because the fabric and the manufacturer just cut corners with everything. Like, ugh. apart from ethical reasons, stuff like this is exactly why I'm trying to stop buying from fast fashion because I am constantly disappointed by the quality of the craftsmanship. But I am so sad to see these go. They are so comfortable and I have loved them for every single second that I've had them in my wardrobe. So thank you, wonderful, super comfortable sleeping shorts. These ones are from the same brand, which is Rue 21, which I failed to mention. And same thing is happening to the crotch. However, they're not in that advanced stage of being there, nothing there to mend. Um, however, these ones are an entire size smaller and they are very uncomfortable because they're not as floaty. So I think I am going to get rid of them. So with the exception of that black pair of sleeping shorts, I don't like any of my pajamas. I just need to keep them because I can't afford to replace all my pajamas. These shorts, get things done, don't particularly like them, they make me feel like a grandma, but they work, so I gotta keep them. I have two pairs of these pink ones, again, hate the design, don't like the way they make me feel. This one is all stained because I'm pretty sure I dropped like an entire bottle of eyeliner on this, I don't know what happened. But gotta keep them because I need stuff to sleep in. This gray cami is from like forever ago, there's a hole in the bottom where a logo is supposed to be. Not the most pretty thing, but it's comfortable to sleep in. Once it starts getting more holes, I think I'm going to have to toss it though. This cami is from Target. It's probably about half a decade old, and I'm surprised that it has lasted this long. But there is a very awkward hole, and I'm afraid that someday I'm just going to pop a nip, and it's not going to be good. So I think I'm going to have to get rid of this one. Again, another super old ribbed tank. I'm gonna keep this one because it doesn't really have anything structurally wrong with it. I have tried so hard to make this shirt comfortable enough to sleep in. I tore out the bottom hem, I tore out the top of the hem because the neckline was like cutting into me while I slept, but now it just kind of like swoops and gets like super wide whenever I wear it and ends up like being, you know, under boob cleavage on me when I sleep. Not particularly nice, so I think I'm going to pass on it. I'm gonna get rid of it or repurpose it somehow. Another gray cami that's probably half a decade old. Again, nothing structurally wrong with this one. It's comfortable, I'm gonna keep it. Just for the sake of showing everything, this is one of my two sweaters. It's ugly and it doesn't look good on me, but it's fucking comfortable and I love it. And here's my other sweatshirt. And apparently it didn't go through the wash like I thought it did. So I'm gonna have to reclean this one, but um, I'm keeping it, it's comfortable, it's lightweight. I can wear it here in Southern California, not die heat stroke. It's gonna stay. And lastly is my bomber jacket. I like this thing. The arms are a little short, but I like it. It's comfortable and it adds some color to my wardrobe. So now I have jeans blue, flannel red, one nude piece, and then olive green. The rest are just black and white. Wow. Okay. So this is the pile of clothes that I'm keeping, and this is the pile of clothes that I'm not keeping. And they are... <laughs> kind of the same height. I know that there's less stuff in here, but it's making me nervous. I don't know if I was necessarily ready to do this because I still need to wear clothing, but ugh, it needed to happen. It needed to happen. So now I just have to plan what I'm going to purchase to restock my wardrobe, and I'm going to be a lot more conscious about where I buy from and quality and planning because I, I kind of want to have more than one type of t-shirts. Let's be real. I need to, I need to switch things up a little bit. But yeah, uh, thank you so much for sticking with me and watching me declutter all my clothing. I will see you guys later. Bye.